I'm with Joe Farah, you're with WorldNet Daily, WND.com. You have quite the outreach and uh, this pink slip campaign, it uh, gained some legs and I hear you hit the five million mark on it. That's right, today. Uh, that's kind of a coincidence given the organization of this press conference, which I had nothing to do with, but uh, I don't know, I guess God was uh, shining on us. I think so. I think that, um, you know, I, I was commenting earlier about abortion, and uh, abortion is an issue that a lot of Americans care about. I saw that was in there. Um, typically, it is mentioned on the taxpayer-funded side of it, um, but I think a lot of Americans do want to see abortion in in America, don't you? Oh, absolutely. If you don't believe in the sanctity of life, then, you know, you have to ask yourself, what do you believe in? It's really the basis of, you know, it's, it's, it's enshrined right there in the Declaration of Independence for everybody to see. So it is a part of American history and the American heritage. Um, I, I, I don't even know why, how there can be a debate about, you know, the destruction of unborn life. It just doesn't even compute for me. Mm, yeah. Well, for those of us who work in the pro-life movement every day, I think uh, I can agree with that completely, where we just are kind of in shock that we have to deal with this issue every day. Uh, as far as the core topics of the pink slip, for anybody who may, might not have seen this, can you describe to them what that's about? Yeah, it's about key legislation that has been impending in the Congress uh, over uh, the last few months. And that's specifically why we weren't addressing abortion per se head on, because uh, abortion really comes up, in, as uh, Janet mentioned, in the uh, in the health care bill. And the health care bill is a truly radical, revolutionary uh, development in this country. It will forever change the way every single American goes about, you know, taking care of themselves, staying healthy. Uh, and not only that, it will, you know, result in, uh, in, a, in a, likely a cataclysmic kind of uh, uh, economic consequences for this country. So that was w one of the key issues. Another was cap and trade. And, it is an arcane issue, you know. I think if you ask the average American, what does cap and trade mean to you, you, you know, they shrug their shoulders. But again, you're talking about legislation that impacts everyone, not just what they spend on heating their home, but on what they spend on groceries. Uh, everything is, you know, everything has to be uh, transported in this country, and cap and trade impacts uh, energy prices and, and gasoline prices and diesel prices and so forth. So those are two of the four major issues that we deal with in the Pink Slips campaign, hate crimes being another one, and, and, and just out of control spending being the fourth. Definitely. Um, on the uh, cap and trade front, um, Obama had said that if he uh, were elected, he was talking about how he was going to make energy unaffordable to mm -hmm. the Americans, right. force us to adopt. He told us. <laughs> he, he, he actually said that to us, and yeah. I don't think people believed him. He also and, was going to put the coal industry out of business. Right. That was a goal. And, and that's adult. what they're talking about with cap and trade, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That they, yes. they want to make energy so expensive yeah. that they get things like solar and other things well, that are more expensive that don't have as good production. Right. And oh. fundamentally, it's to solve a problem that doesn't exist. An imaginary problem of climate, catastrophic man-made climate change, in which there's no evidence, none whatsoever, no scientific evidence to suggest it is really taking place. It's the biggest scam in the history of the world. Yeah, and and this healthcare thing. I mean, they're talking about over a trillion dollars. We're over already over 11 trillion in debt. Mm -hmm. Where do they think this is going to come from? I mean, do they seriously think they're going to do savings in Medicaid? Well, they don't care because it's not about saving anybody money and it's not about giving people proper health care it's about power it's about gaining more power right here in this city and taking it away from the average American well that comes down to representation and these pink slips really challenge the representation of our members in Congress doesn't it I mean it's saying to them do your job or well, get out or we're gonna get you out you know it, it's it's the best way we could think of to really get in the face of these guys you know when the tea parties are great the rallies in the Capitol are great the town halls are great but you know they all have their limitations 
this this was a campaign, and it's ongoing, by the way. We're yeah. not ending it today. Yeah. This is a campaign that I think has the has the power to actually be noticed by every single member of Congress in a profound way, and equally, by the way, that they all see the same thing. Mm. Now, what about the follow-up on this? Is there going to be any kind of way where you're going to show representatives that are perhaps doing what we want them to do, or how can people follow well, up? Was, yeah, that was one of my, my concerns, and it was a concern expressed by by a number of people who, you know, either participated in the campaign or were thinking about it, you know. Um, you know, I, I don't want my representative who's voting right to be insulted by getting one of these things. Mm -hmm. And we were, you know, as I said, we were very gratified to find out we haven't found anybody who took it that way. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Michelle yeah. Bachman was one of the first out the door to say, you know, right on, this is great. Mm -hmm. And so we appreciated that. I, I, and I think that that's probably the spirit that all of the members who, you know, are voting right on this legislation have. Excellent. Well, WND.com, as we said, for you folks out there watching this, go to the website. You can find more about that. All you have to do is do a search for the word pink slips, and <laughs> you're going to find everything under the sun. Is there something else you'd like to tell folks about that they might need to know? Well, just, you know, this is not the end. I mean, uh, unfortunately, as successful as this campaign has been and will continue to be, I hope, in the future, you know, I would just uh, like to tell Americans that you have to be ever vigilant to protect your basic liberties. That's the key. That's what our founders told us, and sometimes we forget that. Amen. Thank you. Appreciate your time. You God bless. God bless. Introduce Joseph Farah now, the CEO of WorldNet Daily. Uh, he's a guy that pretty much understands how this all came about. So, Joseph? Thank you very much. Um, we have a lot of members of the news media here today, and um, one of the questions I get with regard to why I helped to organize uh, this campaign is why would a, a newsman uh, get involved in what is clearly an advocacy kind of political campaign? And the answer to that question is very simple. I'm an American first and a journalist second. Uh, it was this great country that gave us the whole notion of a free press. And uh, that is something uh, I, I value greatly, obviously, as a, as a newsman. And uh, what motivates this campaign is the fact that we are losing our liberties in this country. Every single time we spend money in this building, every single time we uh, socialize the healthcare industry or take some other draconian measure like uh, hate crimes. Uh, it's another nail in the coffin of, of freedom in this country. That's what motivated me. I'm also a businessman and I want to see the free enterprise system uh, remain uh, the economic system in this country. Uh, you've already heard that today, officially today, we've reached the five million plateau in this Pink Slips campaign. Uh, it's quite a coincidence, but uh, <laughs> we didn't organize this press conference with that in mind, but it, it indeed five million is the, uh, was the goal from the beginning. I thought it was unreachable. Janet Porter uh, told me, you have no idea how deep the, the anger is across this country. And we need to give people an outlet for expressing their concerns about the direction of this country. She was right and I'm glad I participated in this campaign and now I believe that the five million may be only the beginning. This is the first media attention outside of World Net Daily that this campaign has received and I think when uh, more Americans find out about it and realize that they have another way to express their concerns uh, they will take part. We may reach 10 million for all I know. Thank you very much. Thank you.